chapter 4 of the letter of James, he's contrasting two different ways of living. Godliness on the one hand and worldliness, for lack of a better word, on the other hand, uh, where our focus is. And the verse I've selected for today is chapter 4, verse 8, where James encourages you and me, draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Um, this is not the first time where James talks about being double-minded. And it's, again, part of this conversation about where our focus is, where our priorities. Is it on God and becoming more like Christ and on godliness, or is it about the things of this world? And so James says, first of all, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. And so uh, it's interesting when we look in the scriptures that there are uh, passages and verses that talk about letting God do things for us. Let yourselves be built into a spiritual house, for example, that we'll hear about in 1 Peter chapter 2. But on the other hand, there are areas and times and verses that say we need to take initiative. Uh, so sometimes God takes initiative, sometimes you and I take initiative. And James is very much a you-need-to-take-initiative kind of book. And so draw near to God. How do we do that? Well, how do you draw near to anyone? Well, I have to believe if I want to draw near to someone that they're there, uh, that they're open to meeting with me, um, you know, there could be someone you want to draw near to you, maybe somebody famous. They don't even know you exist. Um, they're not going to draw near to you even if you want to draw near to them. But God is such that God is looking always vigilant for people who want to draw near to God, who want to get closer to God. Uh, and as soon as God sees movement, uh, God responds to that. And so that's part of why hopefully you watch videos like this. This is uh, part of how we can draw near to God. It's just taking a few minutes each day to focus our thoughts on the God who created us and gives us our life, who loves us, wants the best for us, wants to be in relationship with us, wants us to be in relationship with other believers. So draw near to God and he will draw near to you. But then you notice in the rest of this verse, there's things we need to do. Cleanse your hands which has to do with our behavior, our physical behavior, right? We want to live a holy life. We don't want to do things that we know are clearly wrong or against God's word. So that's our physical behavior. Our physical is cleanse your hands. Purify your hearts. Remember Jesus says that it's the pure in heart who will see God. And Jesus also says that we are to be wise as serpents and as innocent as doves. That speaks again to the purity of our motives and of our heart. And then it's also, he mentions the phrase, you double-minded. We don't want to be thinking about uh, conflicting priorities. And so we don't want to be thinking about the world and what the world tells us we should be doing or focusing on. We want to have a single-minded focus on God. So draw near to God, and God will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, purify your hearts, focus your mind.